So as you guys know, I just unboxed a bunch of jumping spiders and I put together a bunch of really cool enclosures, but I felt like they kind of looked a little bare on the sides. Like I could definitely add some more accessories and little ledges and stuff for them to jump on. So I ordered this package from Arachnophiles Anonymous on Etsy. I don't think they knew it was me ordering or anything like that. So, shh. but yeah, I ordered <laughs> even though they had sent me stuff in the past and I'm really, really stoked because I love the stuff that they sent me and it's it's just gonna look really cool in these jumping spider enclosures so I figured we could go ahead and open this up and do a little bit of jumping spider maintenance I wanted to add some of these ledges and shelves and stuff that I ordered into the jumping spider enclosures and I also thought we could probably feed some of them I'm gonna try to feed them all I just I don't think they're all gonna eat because I did feed a couple of them not very long ago at all so some of them might not be hungry but we can go ahead and attempt let's go do, 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 do. Oh my goodness. Okay, so here are some of the little ledges. But yeah, super cute, super simple and adorable. And then I ordered six of these tiny little shelves, which they sent me these previously. And this is actually what I went back to order. They're just so cute and simple, yes, but they just add so much to the enclosure. And you know, it is really nice to have options for the jumping spiders to kind of climb on other than just the, the plain walls. So let's go ahead and start adding these to some enclosures and offering them some food. Okay, so first we have, oh, 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 and I have no catch cup, perfect. All right, so this is my male P. regius, and that is the only male I have left. Here, get down, because I want to feed you. So he actually already has this cute little ledge, so I don't think I'm gonna add anything, but I think we could probably try feeding him. He might eat. Oops, he's acting kind of scared of it. All right, well, we will just leave him to it. But yeah, there he is, he's doing pretty good. This one is not a P. regius. It was just like a random jumping spider that Tom sent me. But yeah, there's some of those ledges that I got before and they're super cute. So yeah, we're just gonna drop a little cricket in for her. So this little one right here is my canopy jumping spider. This is the really cool little one I found and I named this one Milk. So we've had milk for quite a while and they actually just ate a couple days ago, but I'll put a cricket in. Hi. Oh my gosh, look how cute. A little afraid of it. Um, but judging by this little graveyard of crickets down here, I feel like she won't have any issues at all taking that. Um, jumping spiders can take prey much larger than them, no issues. Let's go ahead and look at a familiar face. Now over here we have pumpkin. Now I feel like pumpkin is probably hungry because I saw her out looking around earlier. As for decorating her cage, we already do have a couple of these little um, sticks here. I'm sure she would enjoy quite a large meal. So we're gonna go ahead and just toss that in there. Kind of stinks she's not out though because she's one of my best feeding responses jumping spider ways. Usually she will jump like onto it and like take it from the tongs. So that's too bad. She's feeling shy today. So this is a new jumping spider. They do not have a name yet. They are black and white and super cute. So if you can think of any ideas, I would love to hear them. As you can see, they've been really busy webbing. I really like this enclosure. It's super cute, but I feel like it's too bare. Like there needs to be more stuff or activities. So let's go ahead and add a couple things to it. I really like these like big ledges. I think these will be really cute. So let's try adding these and like see what this looks like. Maybe we should do the other side. Let's do the other side. Oh, <laughs> there we go. That definitely adds something. Let's try giving them some food. See what happens. Of course, I drop the cricket and it goes right under there. You definitely need a name.
so yeah, let me know if you guys have any ideas on what I should name her, but I really like her. She's so, so pretty, and I just love the black and white. I think that definitely adds much more than just the plain sides. All right, so we have another familiar face, but I'm pretty much doubting we're gonna get a good view of them. This is Chestnut. I've had Chestnut a very long time. There she is, and I don't think she'll come out to eat, but we'll go ahead and just give her a cricket anyway, just because I'm sure she will find it later and enjoy it. So this is also one of my new jumping spiders who also doesn't have a name, and they are the black and white color with like a little bit of rose gold on them. Super unique looking. I really like the coloration of her. Oh. There we go. Cool, so while she's eating, let's go ahead and add some stuff to her enclosure. I think we're gonna do some of these little ledges. Just because there's so much already going on in her enclosure, I wanna just add a couple little things to make it more interesting, but not like too crowded. So let's do some of these, and I'll give you guys a close up. So here is what it looks like with the little ledges. I think it's really cute and it adds, you know, just a little something to the enclosure. And here we have another familiar face. This one is Sugar. She is one of my newer ones. And yeah, she is actually sitting on an egg sack right up here. So because she's on the egg sack, I don't really think she's going to eat, but I do like to still offer a little bit of food just to see, you know? And if they don't eat it, then I'll just take it out. So we're just gonna do one little cricket. So I actually have two more adult female P. Regius left. This is another brand new one, and she is the pretty white one. So hard to tell, but she's got like these really pretty like rose gold and gray. And of course there is her little nest that she built. No? All right, well, we're just gonna set it down in there. And we're just gonna do some little ledges for her enclosure also. Super cute little ones. Oh, 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 where are you going? Where are you going? I think she's going after that cricket while I'm putting these on. Oh, 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 that's what she was doing. <laughs> she did want the cricket. She was just going after it. I guess she just didn't want a tongue feed. She also needs a name, so I don't know. Something chai inspired would be cool for her, but I haven't thought of anything yet. So if you have any ideas. And last one, this is another really cool, unique looking coloration. This one's really shy. So I have a feeling that they are probably not going to tongue feed, but we can surely try. Nope. I think they're interested, but they're just, they're just super bolty. But yeah, I have one little shelf left and then a couple ledges. I think we're just gonna do these ledges. I think they're really cute and they'll look good in this enclosure. So there we have it. 
a couple more ledges and really cute. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know there wasn't too terribly much to it, but who doesn't like to look at jumping spiders, honestly? Um, and I figured you guys like updates too. I also have babies, but they're all already fed. I fed them this morning. Separate from this video, that's just chaos, and I don't want to feed babies on top of trying to film and all that. So yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Like it if you did. Subscribe if you're not. And you want to be. Don't forget to make this game movie. It's probably way too much. It's at Tarantula.cat. You can go follow me there. As a Patreon podcast and a Teespring. It is all linked down below. And I will see you guys soon. Let's get into the Patreon pet pick.